I've got a question about the star closest to our solar system right here. Oh, you mean that really distant star right over here? What? No, no, no. I've seen pictures of our solar system. The planets are actually pretty close to one another. Yeah, Austin, those pictures aren't to scale. Huh? To scale? Wh whatever. Don't know? Don't care. I want to go to the closest star right here. Oh, then you mean that star. What? Huh? The sun, Austin. The sun is a star? Uh, yeah. What? what? Anyway, what's the next closest star? Proxima Centauri. Hmm, Proxima Centauri. Well, that's where I'm headed. Uh, you can't. But why not? Well, it's incredibly, stupendously, unbelievably <laughs> far. Whatever. I'm going and you're building the rocket. Uh, yeah, no, what? I'm not doing that. Please? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, please! No, Austin. But, wait a minute. The viewers want you to build the rocket, uh-huh. Do you guys really want me to build a rocket? All right, come on. Woo! I'm going to stars! <laughs> All right, there it is. Hey, All done. look at that. It's gorgeous. C can you move over a bit? I just want to get a better look. Is this better? Uh, perfect. <laughs> Did you know that cold doesn't actually I, exist? I don't like him! Come on, Alex. Hmm. <laughs> Austin. Huh. Hi, we're here in Austin, Texas at the Texas School for the Deaf. And what we're going to be doing is imagining that we're in the middle of the solar system with, of course, the sun. So, oh, yeah. Now, understand that the real sun is 1.4 million kilometers, which Whoa. is huge. So, we have to use a scale. It means we're going to shrink everything down. So, every 30,000 kilometers is going to equal about one centimeter. Each planet will also be scaled down. Not to mention the distances between the planets as we travel to them. Are you ready to go? Oh, how fast do you ask? Well, the spaceship is going to go 28,000 kilometers an hour. And right up here in the corner, you can see how far Austin travels in the universe. Just below it, this will show you how long he's been in the spaceship. Now, in the box with you. Austin. Woohoo! We arrived! <laughs> yeah! No, we're not there yet. What? Well, then where are we? Where did that come from? Here is Mercury at a size of 5,000 kilometers. Give me that. Oh, man. Now notice that Mercury is incredibly small. Aww. Get back in the box. <clears throat> We're not there yet. Here is Venus at 12,000 kilometers. Here we have Earth and it's 13,000 kilometers. Look at that. Do you remember the sun? Look behind you. The sun at 150 million kilometers away. Here is Mars. Now so far we've been traveling nice small distances. You'll notice from here on out that our travels are going to get more intense. <sighs> here we have Jupiter, 140,000 kilometers. Are you ready? The next one's a ways. Here is Saturn, 121,000 kilometers. All right, now I need you to go right over there. Perfect. Here, we're at Uranus, 
and it's 51,000 kilometers. All right, you get over there. All right. We're at the last planet, Neptune. 50,000 kilometers. Now that's a huge distance, right? Woohoo! We're there! Proxima Centauri! We're not at Proxima Centauri. What? Where are we? Well, we're at Neptune right now. What? what? Why is my beard so long? Well, so far we've been traveling about 18 years. What? But... Proxima Centauri, where is it? Oh, it's so way far away. How far? Oh, well, are we following the scale? Yes. Uh, let's see, if uh, Proxima Centauri is just over four light years, that means in scale we need to go about 13,000 kilometers, so we'd need to go to about Australia. Australia? Yeah, which means you'd be in space for about 160,000 years. Well, then you had better pick up the pace.